If we could reduce the burden of disease that's caused by infections, then we can improve the quality of life for older individuals. By 2030, a fifth of the U.S. population, or approximately 72 million people, will be over the age of 65. And older people are unfortunately at higher risk of contracting an infection. The research goals of my laboratory are to understand how our immune system functions, what disrupts that normal functioning of the immune system, what are the consequences of those disruptions on our ability to fight infections, and more importantly, what can we do to fix any of these disruptions if they occur? Our immune system is regulated by many factors, ranging from our age, our exposure to environmental toxins, what we eat. We want to improve our health span. One of the goals of my laboratory is to improve immunity as we get older. For example, one of my research projects is investigating how shingles develops in older people. And to do this project, we're actually partnering with Air Force Village West, which is a retirement community. Our research is helping develop a better vaccine for shingles. By understanding how the immune response changes with age, we will know what exactly we need to enhance in older people to prevent this virus from reactivating. We've actually received funding from the National Institutes of Health to use our laboratory findings in the new formulation for a shingles vaccine. Although there is a vaccine on the market currently, it's only effective in 51% of the cases. So we really do need a new vaccine to prevent shingles. My research is also facilitated by access to the School of Medicine that is newly accredited at UCR. A lot of the projects that we work on have direct clinical implications. Hopefully our research will not only improve life for people here in the United States, but will also have global ramifications. We could potentially provide people with a longer, healthier quality of life in their golden years.